shop for hours or Marshalls. Like I like to find things online. I like Netflix. I like love Amazon Prime. So those are my people that I'm going to relate to. Um, I'm ambitious and hardworking, but I'm also really easygoing. So those are the type of people that I want to work with. I want to work with people who are ambitious, that are self-starters, that want to do this because at the end of the day, I can't have my mom pick me up and get my workout done for me or call me or drag me out of bed. Like that's something that I have to do myself. So those are sort of the people that I'm looking for. Now when you're thinking about this, if you guys have a notebook, so get a pen out if you have a notebook or a pen because I want this to be something that you can take home and so that you can think about who are you? Like, who are the people that you're talking to? Because the people that I'm talking to and the people that Ashley's talking to or the people that my mom or my dad or my brother or my sister are talking to are not the people that are going to be that I'm talking to. And so I think that's one of the really important as a new coach is you got to think about it like you're shooting at a target, right? Like you're playing darts. And the more narrow in that you can get about who you are, the more easy it is for you to attract the people that have the same goals as you, that have the same vision as you. And we can go to the corporate world and we can be in a job that we have to somehow work with people, right? That we don't always get along with. But in Beachbody, you get to decide who you work with. And you get to pick who you work with. And it's so much more fun, honestly, if you pick the people that you relate to. And your goals skyrocket so much faster when you're talking and you're working with the same people that are the same as you. So what I want you to do is I want you to write down five things right now that you relate to. So are you a stay-at-home mom? Are you somebody that just graduated college and now you've lost that teen community? Are you a working professional? Do you want more vacation time? Um, you know, who are the people, you know, are you a busy person? You know, I hear all the time, I don't have time for this, but guess what, the best people on my team are busy. Because I, you know, that's who I want. This is, this is kind of like a, you, as you go, as a business that you do as you go. Do you feel stuck? You know, do you want more freedom, vacation time? So think about things that you relate to. So I showed this picture because these are different people on our team or just in Beachbody that are successful with this business but are completely, completely different than me. Um, so this is my brother who's a single guy. Like, I don't attract the same people as he does. You know, his whole thing is that he travels and he likes to vacation and he can wake up at 10 o'clock on a Saturday. Like, I can't do that. <laughs> um, and then this is my sister who is in her, um, she started when she was 24. So every single one of these fit people in her in her business are like young girls who just got out of college that got into the workforce and are like, oh my God, this is the rest of my life for like 40 years. Or that they got off of a sports team and then they don't have the community that Beachbody was, is able to give them to get the results that they want. So that's why they decided to join with her. And then this is another girl on our team that's name is Amy Morgan and she is a mom and most of the people on her team are um, she's a stay-at-home mom, so most of the people on her team are stay-at-home moms. So these are very different people, and they're talking to the people that they want on their team. So take a second and make sure that you wrote that down. Um, this is really actually kind of fun. I love to do this with new coaches because I, everybody's different. Every personality is different. You know, whatever, the, you know, is somebody's cup of tea is not going to be somebody else's cup of tea. It, you know, maybe people don't relate to me, but they relate to somebody else. So knowing your personality type is really important. And has anyone ever like been asked what's your personality type in college? No. Like as soon as I joined Beach Body, they're like, "What's your personality?" I was like, "I have no idea what you're talking about." But this is like really true. So an Emerald personality is somebody that's motivated by facts, figures. Um, they they want to know like, you ever have that person that asks you like a million questions before they order something? That's an emerald. Because they just like, it, they can't help it. They want to know like all the facts. Like my husband is an emerald. He likes Excel spreadsheets. He likes to know everything. And I'm like, I can't even open up an Excel spreadsheet. Like I, you know, I can, but I don't track things. Like I'm like, oops, you know, like, you know, I just went to Target and I forgot to track things. Um, so then there's a pearl personality, which is like super shy. 
doesn't like to get in front of people, like smaller things, is like really embarrassed and like somebody asks them to like all of a sudden be like, come up here and speak. Or they just like, they don't like confrontation. Um, it's really hard for them to like ask somebody something. So this is actually um, my brother's personality. I'm just giving you examples because everybody's different, but this is actually my brother's personality is a pearl personality. Like he's super like shy, like he doesn't like to like organize things. Like, you know, if you met him, you'd think since he started this, you know, he has a big team and stuff that he was this really outgoing person, but you know, he, he's not. Like he would like to come in at the end and then leave really quickly. <laughs> um, a Ruby personality is somebody who is um, very um, motivated by a challenge, very driven, very uh, like you tell me what to do and I'm gonna do it, I'm just gonna do it. And so um, Ashley is a red personality. Somebody that's really motivated by money, um, somebody that just like, you know, kind of like just goes and does it and you're like, oh my God, like I had to like, you know, think about that like for an hour before I actually did it, right? So that, and then there's a sapphire who loves to like be in front of people, that loves live events, like loves to go do things. So um, write down right now like what you think is your personality. And then write down, you can have one or two, like, um, you know, some people are a little bit of both, like I'm a pearl. And then I'm also a sapphire. So um, a pearls, for me, when I started this business, like I did not want to talk to anybody in person. Like at all, like my mom did, go talk to that person. And I'd be like, no, like no way. So I would like message them on Facebook and then hopefully they saw my message. <laughs> um, so that was my personality. So I had to figure out how to work this business based on what my personality was. So write down which, which best describes you. Okay, so now we're gonna have to talk about um, how do you find your niche. So who are these people? You just wrote that down. How are you going to target your audience? So now that you know your, your personality, how are you gonna target these people, right? How are you going to approach these people? So usually there's two platforms that most people start with is Facebook or Instagram. They're a little bit different. Um, I personally started with Facebook. Um, and I decided to go to um, like join different mom groups or you know you know when my kids were younger I'd have like mom play dates I joined mom groups like I met one of my coaches here in a mom group and I messaged her through Facebook I joined like different hiking groups so just figure out what is best for for you um, and that's kind of how you're gonna target these people so you do have to kind of get outside your shell a little bit and meet these people you have a question <laughs> this is my yellow personality. <laughs> so it's just a different, like a hiking group on Facebook where you go and just like learn about different hikes. Yeah, so that's what we like to do, right? Um, so this is actually kind of cool, knowing your personality to like work with your family and, and your, you know, different people. So, um, okay, so that's kind of how you're going to do that. So group exercise, like are you a fitness instructor? Are you going to talk to people through there? Are you a nurse? Um, you know, local summer events, like going to the pool, things like that. Okay, so the next thing you're going to talk about, what is, um, what is their biggest fear or obstacle? So when you're talking to people and you are trying to figure out why you can help them, you got to think about what is their biggest obstacle or what is their biggest fear. So like, what was your biggest obstacle when you joined Beachbody? So like, write that down. Like, why did you message your coach or why did you decide to do this? Like what was your biggest obstacle? Did you want to have more confidence? Did you want a community or support? Did you want nutrition? Did you want more energy? Like what was it about your coach that you saw and you immediately were drawn to? Did you hate your, your job? Did you want to lose 10 to 15 pounds? So like my niche is not somebody, if I put out there like I'm doing this bikini competition and everybody come, like nobody would come. <laughs> I don't need to be in a bikini. Like, I have kids. Like, I want to go to the pool or I want to go to the lake and I want to have a cover up on and I want to, like, just drink some wine and just feel confident and comfortable and not bloated, to be honest. <laughs> My family, we deal with bloating issues. Um, so, that's who I'm going to target. So, if I did, like, a, you know, like, get rid of, like, a, you know, moms, moms who want to get ready for the summer or something like that, that's who people are gonna more come to me and those are gonna be the people that I can relate to the best. So that's kind of what you need to figure out is um, what is your person's biggest obstacle? 
And then what is their biggest fear? So like when I started, you know, like when you, you know, maybe it was you wanted to pay your student loans. Maybe it was you wanted to save for a house, but you just didn't have the extra, you know, payments to do that. Maybe um, you were sick of the grind, going nine to five, coming home and had no energy. Maybe you just literally didn't have enough um, money to get a day, uh, somebody to come to your house so that you could go to the gym because you have kids at home. So like what is, and then what is their biggest, like their fear, finances? Do you want to just go to Target and like buy something and not have to worry if you're overdrafting? Like, I mean, that was one of my biggest fears. Like I just wanted to kind of go where I wanted, you know, I wanted to go to Target and I wanted to buy something. Um, so that's the people that you're gonna relate to when you talk to. Um, so what is the solution that you can offer to people? So if it's somebody that wants more confidence, if they want a community, you can offer them that by, the, by our challenge groups. Give them that support, accountability, that positive atmosphere, that they're gonna feel safe, that they're not gonna be judged, they're not, you know, if, if they put out there that they just had a really bad day, that somebody's gonna listen to them. I mean, honestly, like, if you go in the world and you did your workout, like, who cares, right? But, like, our groups do care that you did your workout, you know? So, that, if you just want that to have somebody be, like, showing up for you, that's part of the solution that you can offer these people. Your solution financially is you can offer, you know, maybe, uh, you know, an extra money for groceries. You can offer them to come home part-time. A lot of the people that I'm starting to talk to now are moms who their kids are going to school and they're like, now what? Like, now what am I gonna, gonna, gonna do? Like, I wanna be home with my kids and get them off the bus. Or maybe they just wanna quit the third job that they're working. Um, so these are different things, solutions that you can offer them with this, with this opportunity. Um, so write down. So right now, write down the ideal qualities of the people that you would like to work with. So how would you want? Do you want them to be ambitious? Um, you know, people are very different. So like, my mom is more like a one-on-one -on -one type of person. So she would work with only like two people and really like, you know, go to their house and like be with just them. I don't have the time, you know, to do that. So like, mine is more like I have the tools, I have the system, I have the challenge group, I have the resources. I'll help you, I'll be here, but I'm not gonna hold your hand. And that's who I wanna attract. Whereas that's more, maybe my mom's more like one-on-one. -on -one. So just write down like, do you want somebody positive, easygoing, ambitious, and those are the qualities of the coaches that you're going to attract. Um, so, you know, the, a lot of people say like, well, this person's been in the business longer, or, or they have more time than me, or I can't do what they did, or I don't have my transformation yet, so I can't get started. Um, you don't have your transformations yet, great. I honestly believe that like nobody's gonna relate to somebody that's perfect. Um, if you don't have your transformation, then you can bring the person on the journey of you going through the transformation. You know, you know, when I was pregnant, I would get up and I would do my workouts and I wasn't obviously in the perfect shape, but I was just showing up that I could do this. So you need to bring people on that journey. Nobody's gonna relate to the end. They're gonna relate to what you took them through. Um, so, you know, everybody's different at different stages. Um, and, okay, so the last thing is, meet Sarah. I don't know who Sarah is, but she's the person that I'm talking to when I'm talking to somebody. So, you can name your person different, maybe it's Bob, maybe it's, you know, Tamara, or whatever the name is, but this is usually, you gotta write down, like, what is your, your age group of the people that you're, you're working with? What are the things that they wanna do? Do they like, to travel, Amazon Prime, um, they want to be home more with their family, they don't want to you know, take away from going to the gym, they love wine, they don't have time to shower sometimes, I mean that's like sometimes the people, I'm not even kidding you, I have a challenger that we text each other, we need to shower four times a week. <laughs> I'm not even joking. It went from like us making sure we did our workout to like making sure that we take a shower. Um, and so those are like just things that like I struggle with, you know, you know like do I take the shower right now or do I do the laundry? Like. What is the struggles that you have that you can offer somebody and you can be that support system from? Okay, so, so that is um, really important. And now I'm going to have, uh, Ashley's gonna talk with us about kind of what you do on a daily basis or how you can do this while you're working full time or you, you know, whatever the situation is, what you would kind of do to meet Sarah on your team.